This iPad mini has water damage. The unit was disassembled. And while um, expecting the logic board, we noticed that in those places there is a few signs of corrosion. Right here and right there. We will clean it right now. There is a special manual on how this should be done. And let's try to power him on. You have to pay very close attention to those transistors and resistors, especially in these areas where I am pointing with my finger. Make sure that everything is clean. If you see any signs of corrosion, use a special solution to get rid of it. It's kind of hard to see in 480p, but right here, some of those pins are different color. They black color. Make sure that all of them are shiny and completely clean. Clean all those transistors, resistors, microchips. Everything should be completely clean. Put some additional foam and let it soak for some time. You can use the brush, but apply only light touch, not to scrap any transistors, resistors or microchips. This is very, very important. Light touch only. This is actually the cover itself. As you can see, the signs of water damage. Pretty much a lot. It needs to be cleaned as well. Very, very important before you will assemble the unit back. and scrub it with the brush. And from the other side. After the cleaning was done, we was unable, uh, we still was unable to get any backlight on, and uh, we trying to get some att attempts, and we will try to restore the backlight chip by soldering it using this magnifying glass. This is very very precise procedure, and you have to be extremely careful because you don't want to accidentally to desolder some transistors or resistors and capacitors. That's why be very careful while you're doing this. We only get in the apple itself, as you can see, but no backlight. So we need to figure it out why. The flux was applied on some very important contacts, chips and capacitors, and we will use the heat gun method. actually working but we have some pixels that we cannot activate so we have to figure it out what's wrong let's use some additional cleaning solution maybe this will help would be hopefully this will help Looks like a lot cleaner than it was before. Hopefully, we're gonna get the full screen on. Because right now, as you saw previously, it's only partially on. Let's check it out. 
It needs to be completely dry. That's why let's cover it and wait like this for approximately 24 hours. Plug the charger. It does work, but partially right here it doesn't. So we will need to order the new replacement screen LCD matrix. Let's order the replacement of the LCD screen matrix.